on the Late Late Show tonight at 9.35. But now on RTE One, Scotty plays politics in Shortland Street. My software is very relevant. I'm dropping the project. As a representative of Ackerman, I'm here to present you with a startup package of $300,000. Daniel doesn't own the software. All negotiations for the use of the software will now go through me. Daniel, no! I can't believe it. Can Shane do this? That's what we're about to find out. All your hard work, all the money you've spent on it. I'm not helping. The good news is... <gasps> it is good news, isn't it? I'll tell you in a second. Yes! I'm on the shortlist! <laughs> Congratulations! <gasps> is this the new duty manager role? You're a sly dog. I didn't even know you were applying. I don't know why I am. They're not going to pick me. Oh, you don't know that. Got this far? Me with manager in my job title. That'd be a first. Why not? You manage us kids for years. <sighs> hey, you wouldn't have to wear this stinky uniform. I can see you now. No more bedpans, nice long lunch breaks, talk about cushy. Mm, I haven't got the job yet. Good luck. Hey, wait. Thanks. Mm, I can see you now. No more bedpans, nice long lunch breaks. Who else are we up against? Oh. No idea, sorry. I have to go deliver this. Oh, who to? Bella. Oh. oh, well, we'll find out soon enough, I suppose. May the best nurse win. <laughs> Here we are. Any and all, blah, 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 blah. Will remain the exclusive property of the employer in perpetuity. I'm screwed, aren't I? To infinity and beyond. Well, that's a pretty bleak picture you're painting there, Brody. What do you want? I'm here to make you an offer. He's nicked the whole cake for himself, and now he's come here to chuck you a few crumbs. I can understand how you must be feeling, but this doesn't have to be the end of the line. We're obviously going to need someone to get the project up and running, and who better than the person who started it? See? Told you. Don't do it, bro. I'll think about it. Are you going to open that thing or what? Don't have to. I know what it says. You think you know what it says? If I'm not even on the shortlist, I'm going to be really. Oh, you're on the shortlist. I can open it now. Of course you're on the shortlist. Why you even want the job? I don't know. You can ask me that question at the interview. I will have an answer all sorted out by then. Seriously, you're going to be on maternity leave soon anyway. We hope. No luck this month. It'll happen. And when it does, I will be coming back to a job that is ten times more flexible than the one I'm doing right now. That sounds good in theory. Only if I'm up to it, of course. God, that's not what I'm worried about. I've seen enough nepotism in this place to know that it's never a good idea. Oh, then it's a good thing there are two other panel members that I'm not married to. You'll just have to judge the applicants on their abilities, water people. <laughs> Snap, I think. Hmm? Good for us, then, yeah? We're up against the boss's wife. I'm not hungry. Too much pizza last night. You're not sick, are you? Uh-uh. If anyone's feeling crook this morning, it should be Phoenix. All his dad phoned me after you'd gone to bed. No wonder you were so quiet when you came in. I didn't even have a sip of beer. Honest. Go grab your things, you'll be late. Anything? For a power-hungry executive with expensive tastes like me. You don't have to work at all if you don't want to. What would I do all day? I'd say nothing, but that would be asking too much. I would be bored senseless. When was the last time you had a holiday? And I don't mean half a day sightseeing tacked onto the end of some conference. You're right, it's been a while. Why don't you think of this place as your very own personal four-star resort? Minus one star for terrible catering. There's pizza in the fridge, but that's about it. Make a list. I will go to the supermarket. I may as well cook dinner, and that oven wants cleaning, too. What? One of the things a manager has to deal with is conflict between their staff. How would you handle it? Well, that's where my 20-odd years as a mother would come in handy. The first thing is to listen, to make sure you know what's really going on. 
If you can get the kids or staff to solve the problems themselves, all the better. Firm but fair, that's the key. I know how catty nurses can be. It goes with the territory, the long hours and the stress. But you have to nip problems in the bud, and that's what I'm good at, dealing with the conflict before it gets out of control. What did you learn from your experience as charge nurse? That bosses are people too, and that sometimes the big stick isn't going to cut it. You need the carrot. This is weird. Tell me why you want the job. Because I have worked here for almost three years now, and I think I'm ready for a new challenge. I've worked in a lot of different areas. I've learned from a lot of good people. I think I have what it takes to be a good manager. I think it's one thing to just dish out orders, but I think you also need a vision and to take your staff with you. And you think you can do that? I know I can. We both do. Thanks, Tracy. We'll be in touch. Sorry. <laughs> It's obvious who we should pick. Not to me. We've got one union rep, one with previous management experience, and one with more years on the wards than the other two put together. I'm going to need some time to think about it. Yeah, right. <sighs> Thanks for your hard work, guys. Anytime. Not that there's going to be another time. You know, they just made more from this thing than I ever will. How much have we got left now? Oh, two grand if we're lucky. It's better than nothing. That's enough to hire a lawyer. For what, half an hour? What's a lawyer gonna do? Or rip Shane Tucker apart? Get me back what's mine? You reckon? You might as well just give your money straight to Shane. Oh, to go with all the other millions that he's done me for. Good. Why have you got it in for him? What? Have you not been following this conversation? It's not Uncle Shane who owns the software, it's the hospital. He's just doing his job. She's right, mate. It wasn't even Tucker that gave you the contract, it was Callum. And any other halfway decent CEO would have done the same thing. And the lawyers are always going to be bigger than yours, remember that. You can't win. coming straight out and asking him. I thought I did okay in the interview, but I couldn't tell what any of them were thinking. Especially Scotty. Never can, really. Well, how badly do you want to know? He left his notes right there. We can't. I won't tell if you won't. Oh, oh, you are such a child sometimes. Here they are. This is me. Oh, well, come on then, what does it say? Lacks maturity. Hmm, no comment. <laughs> With a question mark, there's hope yet. I'll put it down. I think you want to hear what he's written about you? No, I don't. Your loss. Go on then. You've got a question mark too, a couple of them actually, after the words authority and experience. Oh, that's enough, I don't want to hear any more. Yes, you do. So, what does he say about Tracy? Not a lot. It's all exclamation marks and little doodly love her. <laughs> it's not. No, it's blank. Which probably means he'd made up his mind before he even saw us. That's it. I'm not thinking about it anymore. Um, what are you doing? What does it look like? What are you boys doing here anyway? Um, free period. Yeah, and someone left his mess at home. Yeah, where is it? It was here at breakfast. Well, I've tidied up since then. The place was a tip. No, is that your idea of relaxing? Oh, what's that smell? Chili con carne. Can I taste it? Sure. Yum. Uh, do you want some? Oh, yeah, man, I'm starving. Oi, I said you could taste it, not eat the lot. That's meant to be for dinner. Oh, but we're not going to have enough time for lunch. Well, whose fault's that? Is this what you're looking for? Oh, thanks. 
What are you giving it to him for? Um, I was just going to check some answers on my homework. Copy phoenixes, you mean? You know, this is really good. Don't change the subject. Have you got your maths book with you? Yeah. Well, you can do your homework while you have something to eat and Phoenix can help you. Man, I thought my mother was a slave driver. I'm not his mother. You remember that. Have we got any corn chips? Well, this is happening too often. What is? You, making beds when you should be at your desk doing, I don't know what, something important. Budget reports. There you go. What you need is a good duty manager. <laughs> Pretty soon I'll have one. Assuming you've chosen the right person. Have you guys chosen yet? No, we're meeting later today to discuss. But you know who you would pick. And you are director of nursing. What you say goes. You don't have to tell me anything right now. Just not if I'm right. It's not Wendy. There will be an announcement made in due course. But the person who gets the job will be told first, right? That is the usual procedure. So why can't you just tell me now? Because I'm not sure it's going to be you. What? I tried to tell you when you put in your application. How can I appoint my wife second in command? You're not appointing anyone. That's why there's an interview panel. So there is no conflict of interest. I am the best person for this job. We had a very strong bunch of candidates. Ah, ah, please! Keep your voice down. So who have you picked then? I'm not going to tell you until... Nicole. Of course I would be interested. I'll just grab my diary. We'll set up a meeting. Phoenix, can you get the door, please? Sorry? Sure, if you're in the neighbourhood. Does it have to be today? Hi. Hey, I'm... Um, come on. Let me just check something. When are you boys going back to school? Um... Oh, uh, even move it. That's fine. What time? Ah, uh, thanks so much. Oi, dishes! Um, I'll do them later. I am at 17 Orchid Place. I'll see you soon. Bye. Daniel, the grapevine's already done its thing with you, too. Mm. Shouldn't you be drowning your sorrows somewhere? Well, I was thinking, who do I know who knows about contracts? It looks pretty standard to me. Oh, exactly. Mackay shafted me. You shafted yourself. There's no IP clause, and you used hospital resources to develop your software. I thought you were using your laptop. Well, the hospital computer was faster. If I knew you were this thick, I wouldn't have considered investing. I didn't come here for a lecture. So what did you come here for? Um, I don't know. A uh, bit of help? I can give you the number of a good lawyer. Cheers. I heard you put your hand up for the duty manager position. I did. I'm not going to get it, though. Nicole is. Really? Personally, I think you'd be far better suited. Well, you and me both. What can I do? Sleeping with the boss obviously isn't good enough. That was a joke, by the way. You are not laughing, though. I'll get over it. I can see what Scotty was thinking. Me too. It's called reverse discrimination. What are you doing now? I'm on a break. Let me get you a coffee. Hi, guess what? Harry time's sick. No. I have a job interview. Stephen Finlay from St. Cass. He's coming around here. Weird, I know, but apparently it's urgent. I think I heard a car pull up a second ago. Oh, that could be the nanny dropping Harry off. His teacher called. Apparently he's not feeling too good. I'm sick. Uh, you're right. He's just walked in. Thank you. That's not good. Let's get you upstairs. Ask him if he's vomited. Your dad wants to know if you've vomited. No, but I feel like I'm... <laughs> oh. Did you have to give him the idea? I will call you back. Hey, I heard what happened. I'm sorry. And how did it go with Rachel? <sighs> she pointed me to her lawyer. He saw me straight away as soon as I dropped her name. And? Huh. He shook my hand, told me it was a lost cause, and charged me 500 bucks. 
That's that. Uh, we're officially screwed. Well, there's always the next bright idea. <laughs> but if there's not? There will be. You're a genius. Yeah, I'm the genius who didn't even bother to read his own contract. Now, how did Shane find out what I was doing? Um, you might have me to blame for that. I was busy skiting about my clever son. I said he'd be hearing your name soon. Thanks. Well, regardless, isn't it better that it all blew up now before you wasted... invested... invested anybody else's money? No, you were right the first time. Total of 25,000 bucks down the drain. And my only one good idea. Well, you may think you've used up your one good idea, but I know you better than that. This is just a setback. And, um, how much is left now? What, 1,500? Yeah, about that. Yeah, and boy, do I need some of it. Wasn't so long ago you couldn't wait to give it to me. You and I thought I was investing in something you actually owned. Oh, yeah, go on. Rub it in, dude, because I really need to hear it one more time. Nicole Miller, really? She interviewed well. I'm not surprised. I imagine she'd be fairly shameless about talking herself up. She was pretty clear-eyed about herself, actually. It was reassuring. Her record's patchy, to say the least, and she certainly dropped the ball as charge nurse. We talked about that. She thinks she's grown since then. I think she's right. What about Wendy Cooper? Wendy's great, but not for that role. True. She's not the strongest candidate. That would have to be Tracy. <sighs> right, now I know why I'm here. She's expressed some concerns about reverse discrimination. Her words. I see. She thinks the only reason she'll miss out on the job is because she's married to you. It's only because I'm married to her that I let slip my opinion. There are two other panellists who have their own equally weighted opinions. For all we know, I may be overruled and Tracy will be offered the position. I'm just going to cut to the chase and overrule you now. Tell Tracy the job is hers. And you can tell everyone else, including the other panel members, that the decision was mine. Now say that again with a smile on your face. The job's yours. Shane's influence, if you were wondering. <sighs> yeah, I knew it couldn't be yours. You made that perfectly clear. And what did you do? Go straight to Shane behind my back? I didn't go to him. He was just there, asking questions. What was I meant to tell him? How long are you going to make us suffer? Come on, then. Put us out of our misery. We're all growing up, so we can take it. OK. Firstly, thank you, all three of you. It wasn't an easy decision. I've given the job to Tracy. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, it turns out the hospital owns the whole thing. Poor Daniel, he's not taking it very well. Brady must feel like a bit of an idiot too. Hey. Oh, yeah, he does. Hey, you know that um, overseas holiday we're supposed to be taking? Does um, Waiheke on count? Hey, it's another world over there, mate. Europe's not going anywhere. See you soon. Did you hear any of that? I get it, the 20k went down with the ship too. I'll get it all back to you though, I promise. There's no hurry, mate. I can't take it with me, can I? The job was mine. Oh, I wish I had your confidence. No, it was. The last page of Scotty's notes, yours and Tracy's names were crossed out, and mine had a big tick beside it. Well, why didn't you say? Well, you told me you didn't want to know. Well, I didn't want you knowing either. Well, as it turns out, I didn't. I guess Scotty decided he really does want a family. What? Well, imagine it if Tracy hadn't have got the job. There wouldn't be much baby making going on, would there? I don't think that Scotty had any say in the matter, not after Tracy went crawling to Shane Tucker. You're kidding. I saw them together, talking about the job and heading off for coffee. If you're unhappy, I suggest you take it out with Scotty. Or Shane, if you're stroppy enough. He came to me, OK? And have you stopped to think for just a second that maybe I am just the best person for the job? Scotty didn't seem to think so. Scotty, tell me the truth. Was I the first choice for the job or not? And what gave you that idea? Well, process of elimination. I knew it couldn't have been Wendy. Hey! She looked at your nose. Ha! Huh. Is that true? Look, you shouldn't have just left them lying around. And this coming from the woman who thinks she's mature enough to be duty manager. Okay, that's enough, the lot of you. Your shift's over, go home. Scotty, you need it at the station. 
No, I understand. I would have done the same thing. Thank you. Bye. It's Stephen cancelling the meeting and there's no point rescheduling because he's already given the job to someone else. She had another offer and needed an answer. Or well, maybe she heard she was about to get some very serious competition. How's Harry? Better than he was, but he won't be going to school tomorrow. Have you called the nanny? She's not well now either. Oh. It'll just be for the morning. I'm sure he won't be any trouble. Oh, it's fine. What else am I going to do? Hi. Hi yourself. Just in time to start cooking. Hey. I hear you demolish dinner at lunchtime. It's okay. I've got a casserole in the oven ready to go. Uh, are there any more of those corn chips? I'm starving. Uh, did I leave my pencil case here? One more time. Chief cook and bottle washer I might be, but I am not your mother. And I'm definitely not yours. I'm thinking of calling Stephen and telling him I'll work for nothing. Anything is better than this. I need to get to my bag. Sure. Could you move, please? When I'm finished. Oh, wait. All yours. Thank you. Oh, what was that look for? I'm not the one who dobbed you into Scotty. No, you're just the one that went squealing to Shane behind everyone's backs. You're so hard done by, aren't you? Excuse me? Well, it's typical of your generation. You expect everything to just come to you, and when it doesn't, you wonder why. Might have something to do with all the rules you bend looking for shortcuts. She is right. And God forbid you actually work your way to the top. I beg your pardon? I'm going home. I'm sick of the sight of both of you. Yeah, ditto. Hang on, I need to talk to you. Uh, you two, all three of you sit down. Well, if you're thinking mediation, this is probably not the best time. It will do with a good night's sleep. True, but I don't fancy your chances. What do you mean? Half the night shift down with food poisoning. Linda, Pam and Janine have all gone home. Do you need me to bring the bureau for you? Already tried. Nothing doing. What? Tracy, you'll be covering for Janine as charge nurse. Of course. Who else? You want us to work the night shift? More than that, I want you to work together. See how that works out when we return to Shorten Street on Monday at noon. But next today, Mrs. Tembe tries to save a life in Doctors after the break. <laughs>